Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Well I must be, because it says up there. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you five flashback clips. What the so-called experts have said, you know, in the last week or so. Uh, there's Dave Allen, Eddie Earn. Frank Smith, Spencer Fearon and Dave Caldwell. They're the ones that we're all told you're not to let you're not allowed to say anything. Now we live in a democracy nowadays. Now these same people in the past have all spoke about people that uh, failed drug tests. Now Dillian White's failed an A sample. We've been told by the authorities they had a hearing and you cleared to fight. Fair enough. But why did they have a hearing? Now, I'm not going to dig Dillian White out, but they've had a hearing for reasons. Now, they found something in his A sample. Now, all of a sudden, lawyers are called and nobody's speaking and nobody wants to say anything. Where's Johnny Nelson? on IFL, where's Adam Smith, where's Barry Hearn, they're not saying anything are they, Dave Allen's not saying anything either, he's done an interview but he's not said anything, they're doing interviews but they're not saying anything, why is that, have they got any ulterior motives, now let me think, Dave Allen, he's had X amount of fights on Sky pay per view, He's not going to want to rock the boat. He spars Dillian White and gets paid for sparring Dillian White. So he's not going to say anything. But yet, if you go and look at Dave Allen's comments on social media regarding Luis Ortiz and Tony Yoko, well, what does David Allen say about those guys? Even if Dillian White gets off with this, Dillian's had a two year ban it past, hasn't he? not said a dicky bird the reason is well, when you're buying houses and you've got mortgages around your neck and these people are out in your checks out it's easy to like a person like that isn't it these people sold their souls for money david allen friend of mine but i know what david allen's feelings are about people who failed drug tests or who failed them in the past i know what he says I've been his friend years. I've had him in my house for meals, been out for meals with him. He, will, he signed, he turned pro with Dennis, so I know David Allen extremely very well. He's a close friend of mine, but David Allen needs to be true to himself and come out and be his own man. He's one of them people that says, I don't give a F U C K about what people think. I'm always going to say my bit. He said his bit about Joshua. And he says he's not bothered, he's not bothered about Eddie Earn. But he is bothered, isn't he? Because without Eddie Earn now he may not, he might not get another meal ticket. If your meal ticket's gone, what's he gonna do? Frank Warren will throw him under a bus. He wants journeyman David Allen to fight now so he can knock him over and look good. He's going around plugging the David Allen tour. Good luck to Dave Allen, I hope he gets a few quid out of the job. But he should be true to himself, but they're not going to do, are they? They're not going to say what they want to say. Dave Caldwell. Did you listen to Dave Caldwell's interview on IFL and Boxing Social? It was embarrassing. He didn't know whether to tickle Dillian's arse or spank his arse. He didn't know it was embarrassing. Eddie's just come out and waffled his way through everything without telling you anything. Barry earned the deck let near a camera. Johnny Nelson, I've been told, said a few things, but I can't find it. And Adam Smith, he's not going to come out and say anything, is he? If somebody's guilty, you're not going to say a word, are you? You're just going to comment. When you're not guilty, you scream it from the rafters. I were in prison with a guy once, and he, he were not guilty. And every single day, he demonstrated it by kicking off and screaming. And he was found not guilty at court. But so far the silence is deafening. Now, 
Everybody was saying one minute, Dillian White's the most improved heavyweight. Well, why is it most improved heavyweight? Is there a reason for that? We don't know, do we? We're not going to get to find out. But if you delve back into history, Dillian had an over-the-counter substance back in the day and got a two-year ban. Fair enough, it will prove that he didn't know what he took, so we give him benefit of doubt on that, but the fact that he bought it and he was looking for an edge, you know, you put it in front of a jury, well, but it's shrouded in mystery and the people who work in boxing, they won't want to say anything for the simple reason that they might get pulled at a show. You might have some six foot six, 20 stone black man like Lemaire Scott, the guy who says that he's Dean White, whoever he is, baby thing, Luther Vandross, whatever he's called, Walter Mitty, Bogus, Bogus Barry, whatever you want to call him, right? He was, he's a big lump, and no doubt he'll pull people and people in his company. They shit the pants. I've been told. He's a big lad, isn't he? If he's got something to say, he's going to say it. Or you can take him on outside. That's the that's how they're going to shows. They walk strutting about like that. Nobody dare say a word to him. Nobody. So that's how it is. People want to come out and say something, but they daren't. Dave Allen. Do you think Dave Allen's not saying anything in his close circle of friends when he's sat in his house eating lion bars on a night? He'll be sat there with Monty and all his mates. Of course they'll be saying something. They're not going to say it on an interview. Dave Allen can talk for hours on interviews. He's had more interviews than Joshua has in the last three years. But they've all gone silent, haven't they? Oh, I don't want to talk about that. It'll come out in wash. Look, it's already out in wash. A sample has had adverse findings. Thomas Hauser is not going to break rank and say that without there being a little bit of proof. Because I can assure you, if they give Thomas Hauser the wrong information, well, it'll look bad for them people, won't it? Would Dan Rayfield have come out and said anything? No. Am I coming out and saying something? Yeah, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to say, I think there's something in it. But we have to wait for B sample, but when you go to prison, and you pee in a cup, they have an A and a B, that's it. Nobody's ever had a B sample that's been negative in prison history. So let's hope he gets off with it and let's hope that he's a clean fighter. But, I'm having my doubts. This B sample, the 17th, right? The 17th, the, the, he were, they were told on the 17th, weren't they? So we're now 14, we're now three week. It's three week tomorrow. This Thursday, it is three weeks since this B sample was sent off, right? Where has this B sample gone? Timbuktu? Or has it gone to Australia by boat? We don't know, do we? But it only takes a month to get to Australia on a boat right that's on a boat at 30 mile an hour bump across the ocean so where is the B sample is it going to be another one like Yui Furies and Tyson Furies where nobody knew about it nobody knew about it because everybody kept their mouth shut there were no squealers in the camp there's obviously a mole in Dillian White's camp that's why it's leaked, there's a mole, right? So it is what it is. There were a mole in Tyson Fury's camp. The mole didn't come out until after he beat Vladimir. But the mole broke rank. Is it the same mole? We don't know, do we? But it is what it is, isn't it? This is how I look at it. They had a hearing and they were cleared to fight. That's Eddie Earn's script. And that's what they've told everybody else to say, right? I know for a fact, some of them people who are doing these interviews and saying well they're cleared to fight, I know what these people are saying behind closed doors. Because I like Dillian, because I like Dillian. They don't know Dillian hardly, it's only knowing when they meet him at shows. Dillian don't get two hoots about any of them. Was Dillian White the most improved heavyweight the last few years? Yes. Is his training team a top tra training team? Yes. Have they done great things for him? Yeah, of course they have, yeah. But the bottom line is this, Dillian White's been getting dropped late in fights and getting up and winning fights, so he needs respect. But is that because he took something? We don't know, do we? But the bottom line is this, 
He's passed VADA tests, but he's failed UCADA tests. And they've both been about the same time. This adverse finding is in the middle. So is it something that's laid dormant in his body? I don't know, but all these company men that are coming out, they are showing their true colours, aren't they? They're coming out, instead of just not, not even doing any interviews whatsoever, like White and and that the guy who says he's his brother, they're not doing any interviews. Adam Smith's not doing any interviews, Barry Earning. The others are just coming out, supporting it, saying, we're not going to comment on it, you've got to wait for B sample. Well, where is this B sample? We're waiting on the B sample. Where is it? Where's the B sample? That's what this video should be called. Where is the B sample? Or we could call this video Sky Company Man. I don't know. But I think we're better off calling it Where's the B sample? Because where is it? The fans have got a right to know. We all have our top 10 favourite heavyweights at the moment and Dillian White's in everybody's top 10. He's probably in everybody's top 5. You know, you're probably going to go Wilder, Ruiz. They're the ones with the belts. Wilder's got the most defences. Then you've got Ruiz. Then you've got Joshua. You know, he, he's, he's the guy who beat Vladimir, just like Tyson. Is. Then you've got Tyson, who ain't got a belt, but he's got this fictitious, fictitious belt. Then you've got Ortiz and Dillian White probably vying for the fifth spot. Would Ortiz, would Dillian White beat Andy Ruiz? Probably he'd have a tear at him, wouldn't he try and walk him down? So Dillian White's in everybody's top five or six, but he's definitely in the top ten of the world's top heavyweights in the world at the moment, right? Dave Allen were two fights away from fighting all them guys, so he were telling us. But in reality, we know he weren't. Out of my top ten, six of them have failed drug tests, past, present and future. Has Poole left? I don't know. But six of my top ten have failed. Have the other four? No, they've not failed yet and I don't think they will. But is this where boxing's going? Six out of my top ten have failed it. Now, I don't know, but have a look at these five video clips that are on next and just let me know what you think about it. And make sure you leave a comment, like and subscribe and then you get to see our videos that come straight to your phone. That's why I want people to subscribe. Then you don't miss your porky fix, all right? Before I let you go, I do want to get your thoughts on uh, the situation with Dylan White. I have absolutely no thoughts on that and I will give no thoughts on it. My only thoughts are, and I said this to ages before anyone else said this, I don't know anyone else saying, you copied it. You've got to be, you got to be, uh, you got to be innocent until proven guilty. We'll see what comes out in the wash. It will all come out over time. We will see who's in the right, who's in the wrong, who did what, who did what, who did not did what, and whatever else. We will see. As till then, I have no comment because I don't really know what's going on. And if I made comment, I'd be a bit of a dick because I ain't got a clue what's going on. And on that note, thank you everyone for supporting. Thank you everybody just, just for uh, being on the journey. And hopefully it will continue for a little while longer. Not too much longer, but a little while longer. Thank you very much. Last one, Dave. Yeah, I do think it's strange, and I, I was just saying, and this isn't just the WBC, but social media in general, and you know, people who are following this whole situation, I just think people should wait for facts before they start second-guessing what's happened. Let the truth come out, okay. let him have his, his say. At the moment, yeah. he's just presumed guilty, right? Um, his case is his case. He will deal with his case. Nothing to do with me. I'll do the show. Right? You've got to, you've got to know the facts before you can go full full pelt into something. And uh, you, and when the when, like I said, when you know something, and it's hard to it's hard to go hard at them until you know that they've hundred percent done wrong. I'm not equating morals over money or money over morals, but if it was me and I was putting on that show, it's easy for me to sit and say what I would have done and what I wouldn't have done. But I haven't got millions and millions of pounds at stake and everything else, but I'm not going to put money over morals because money is not my God. God is my God. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, 
uh, you also told me something on the phone uh, when we were talking earlier about Oscar Rivas. Do you want to break that news? You know what? Allegedly, I heard from a, a, a good source. Uh, but it's allegedly, so I don't want no one trying to sue me. But allegedly, Oscar Rivas has, 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 failed, has failed a test. This is the talk that I'm hearing. So... What did you think to, to them five videos? Eh? What did you think? Eh? Do you like the one with Frank Smith? Do you like the what, what what it's called is it's called politics, it's called closing ranks, and it's called damage limitation. Now I've been told today off somebody, I'm not gonna say a reliable source because the guy he has got things wrong in the past, but the same guy is a matchmaker. He's told me today that this is going to be dragged out for months and months and months just like the Tyson Fury and Yui Fury one were and the Yui Fury one is still clouded in mystery isn't it there was elevated levels now whatever anybody fails anything on it's got into the system hasn't it now if Tyson Fury were innocent he'd have seen it through to end because he could have got millions of pounds couldn't he but it is what it is isn't it you never get to the bottom on it we're liars and cheats. Now, I'm not saying they're lying and cheating, but for all we know, somebody could have spiked them. You don't know, do you? But I'm not going to go down that road. I'm going to feed in and I'm going to say, look, we can only go on the evidence. The evidence says they found something and then they had a hearing and then they said, no, you're all right to fight. But has it blown apart a proportion? I don't think so. I think that the Hearns wanted it to blow up because they love PR, don't they? Any PR is good PR, but like and subscribe and let me know. The main thing is you let me know what you think about them comments because at the end of the day, right, we're all boxing fans at heart, aren't we? And if, if people are cheating, we've got a right to know. If things are getting into people's systems, the fans have a right to know. We don't want it to be brushed away like Canelo's thing were and like the Fury's thing were with Huey and Tyson we want to know what's going on now it's leaked out the fans know if the fans didn't know well it's bad isn't it for example Christian Hamer he didn't get to know about Tyson Fury's do you know what I mean elevated levels and Nandrolone Christian Hamer didn't know didn't get to know did he nobody's mentioning a word about poor Christian Hamer Hamer are they so fighting Tyson Fury when he's Nandrolone out his mind. So, well, maybe Tyson Fury's like Superman and he's got superhuman levels. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I ain't got a crystal ball. What I do know is this. Tyson Fury took a two-year backdated ban. And what I do know so far, the facts are Dillian White failed his A sample. And the B samples, well, that's MIA, isn't it? missing in action so peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing and come on let's get liking these videos leave me some comment and subscribe and then you get your porky fix all right shout out to Climacool and shout out to CS Raps in Mexico Doncaster CS Raps if you need your car wrapping CS Raps that's the place to go Boom. My name is Tony Bellew and I get my smile with content.